everyone, this is Katya from Pacifica with Love. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And please support me with a like if you like this video. Today is a really nice sunny day um, in mid-March. Uh, I'm in San Francisco right now and um, we'll be having lunch at a newly opened restaurant uh, called Dacha. Uh, this restaurant is located on Sutter Street uh, in San Francisco and it only opened uh, four months ago. We first discovered it actually last night when we came here for dinner and we loved it so much that we came today for brunch as well. They have different menus for uh, dinner and for brunch. Uh, the food that they serve uh, is Eastern European food that includes such things as borscht, which is a beetroot soup, uh, she, uh, which is a cabbage soup. Uh, they also have uh, goulash, which is a Hungarian dish. Um, they have some Georgian dishes. Today, actually, they have a special menu because uh, right now it's, it's a Maslenica, which means um, uh, a crepe week. This is a week uh, before Lent, and this is basically a feast week where you can enjoy uh, savory and sweet crepes with different fillings and toppings, and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna show you inside and also show you what we're eating. And if I'm really lucky, I can also interview the owners and the founders of this place. So this is the entrance of the restaurant. As you see, it's called Dacha. And uh, here you can see some of their dishes. Uh, there is a nice bar area here. Uh, as you enter um, to the left is the dining area. As you see, it's really nice uh, interior, uh, brick walls, uh, um, uh, paintings on the walls, really nice chandeliers. Um, quite a few people here. Uh, they only opened four months ago, but are becoming really popular. Uh, this is a bar area, so you can sit at the, uh, sit at the bar if you'd like. And um, to the left here is this nice lounge um, that has this uh, forest uh, uh, image on the wall. And again, nice chandelier, a nice couch, uh, coffee table. So if you'd like, you can sit here and uh, feel more intimate. So now we, uh, they have brought us everything and we're gonna eat, but it looks amazing. Wow, look at that. Crepes. Uh, it comes with berry, mixed berry compote and sour cream on the side. Mushroom piroshki. Uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Is it warm? Mm. Looks like wild mushrooms to me, right? Yeah. Oh, so let's try and, and let me know if you like it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that too for sure. Um, I am eating um, savory crepes uh, stuffed with um, it's kind of crepe roll stuffed with chicken and eggs, right? Chicken and eggs and sour cream. So you that's how you eat this. So you uh, take a piece of crepe and you uh, put some sour cream on top. Um, we also ordered some. Um, crepes with red caviar that's how you traditionally did that and lastly sirniki which are the cottage cheese patties that are served with um, usually sweet jam or compote and sour cream overall great food here uh, I am uh, with uh, this amazing crew from uh, Dutch restaurant Katja, Suki, and Katja. <laughs> Katja, sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> summer house in Eastern Europe, so it's uh, all about friends and family gatherings, uh, fresh food from the garden, people spend uh, uh, vacations there, people spend weekends there, create great memories, so mm -hmm. that's why we wanted to recreate this mm -hmm. atmosphere, warm atmosphere of that
so people feel feel at home, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Wonderful. So, uh, how did you decide on the ambience? I see that you have the brick, you have nice uh, chandeliers, paintings. Uh, did you design it yourself? Did you ask any interior designers to help out? And how did you envision how your how your Dutch will look like? Um, it was a group effort for sure. Uh, we did start with a designer, um, but we really just wanted uh, the concept of recreating a dacha in San Francisco really was born from the space itself because there's different rooms, there's kind of a different atmosphere in each of the rooms mm -hmm. and it started with our psychedelic forest wallpaper over here. Mm -hmm. Everything started from this and mm -hmm. kind of grew. So this is the forest room that we're sitting in. Because the Dutch is uh, in the country, right? There is exactly. no nature, there is forest nearby. Right? Exactly. There is wood. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And green, green colors, right? Green colors. Mm -hmm. um, and then this next room over here is the meadow, or kind of the garden as you lead into the house or the living room. Mm -hmm. um, and then the final room is the tea room, which is in the back. Mm -hmm. um, and there's family, all, all of us contributed to the design. My mm -hmm. father's photography is on the wall above the oh, mantle. Is that right? wow, yes, that's he framed so it. We, we chose it, but he framed it and sent it to us. That's um, but we all have things like all mm -hmm. around the space that we mm -hmm. brought from our homes and wanted it to feel very cozy and welcoming and comfortable for mm -hmm. all of our guests. Yeah. Wow, that's wonderful. That's great. I like how not only you have the name, but you also kind of play with the concept. Yes, exactly. Kind of the metaphor of that is being realized in different parts of this restaurant, yes. right? <laughs> exactly. So, and then I have a few questions to your chef, Katya. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for the delicious food that we have tried today and yesterday as well. Yes, they were for dinner. It was a different menu. We really enjoyed the appetizers. And the main courses and the dessert was with black currant was outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, and today, obviously, as well, um, I have like my husband's favorite dish of all is sirniki, so he thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not wrong. laughs> what we really liked is that you have your own twist to this traditional Eastern European uh, dishes and the presentation. Is this intentional can, can we ask you so how do you approach when you're cooking and uh, how do you make it appealing to the clientele i think it's my religion <laughs> <laughs> you know we first we eat by eyes mm -hmm. that's my, like presentation is very important for me mm -hmm. for me very important when like uh, food is healthy mm -hmm. when it's beautiful mm -hmm. and the flavors of course mm -hmm. i don't use a lot of uh, uh, spices because I love the ingredient. Mm -hmm. I try to give ingredients, you know, like, mm -hmm. to shine. Mm -hmm. The stage. Yeah, 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 yeah stage. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's, yeah, I think that's the religion, that's mm -hmm. our, my concept on the kitchen, like, mm -hmm. and it's like a really uh, good matching with like our concept in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like everything from scratch, we do like everything here. Mm -hmm. And we, like, you know, our pickles plate now, mm -hmm. like it's everything like housemates. We don't buy like any pickles or something. Mm -hmm. Like I wanna give like any ingredients like my way, mm -hmm. you know, like my vision. Yeah, no, for sure. And we could uh, feel that when we, yesterday we tried the uh, uh, chicken liver pate that was excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Smoked salmon, outstanding. We had a beet salad with a smoke beet that had a taste of smokiness in those beets. And yes. it was so unusual and light, light. It was not a heavy, smoky taste, but a light and a touch, and it was great. Thank you. So, so that we really enjoyed, and I, I'm sure that if you come over, you will enjoy it as well. Um, maybe uh, one more question to you is, how did you learn to cook? Uh, and uh, is this in your family? This is run in your family, and are you using any traditional family recipes uh, in your in your cooking? Yeah, in my menu, I use like a lot of memories from my childhood. Mm -hmm. Like my mom, really good uh, cook. She like cooking always, like everything fresh, and like she's uh, teach me a lot. Mm -hmm. But when I start, uh, uh, when I meet my husband. Mm -hmm. And like 
I start cooking something different. Mm -hmm. Like I try, start trying, uh, try new cuisines, mm -hmm. and like every week we try something new. Mm -hmm. And then I, I worked in the tech, mm -hmm. like project management. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. See, okay. See, I can. Such a transition. <laughs> yeah, such a big transition. Wow. And uh, I think like I want to learn a little bit more, and I found like a really good uh, cooking school, French cooking school ah. in Russia. Uh huh. And then like I understand, I don't want to back to the office. Uh, and we moved from Russia first uh, in 2014 to the Netherlands, uh -huh. and I start my career there. Oh wow! Uh -huh. Yes, I work like a prep cook, like line cook, then like like sous chef. Uh -huh. But this is my first job, like for my first experience, like uh -huh. a chef. Uh -huh. And now it's, I think, like before, like uh, girls give me the offer, you know, like we want to create something like beautiful together. Mm -hmm. I was scared, mm -hmm. but now I understand. Like, I have like, a lot of ideas yeah. and people love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, it surprised me mm -hmm. and now it uh, makes me happy. <laughs> Will you express your love through food? So yes. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah it's my love language. Is like, yeah. yeah, food is my love language. Yeah. Wow, that's a very powerful statement. <laughs> what is my love? language. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. And by the way, um, Katya lives in Pacifica, so, you know, from Pacifica with love, so even though the restaurant is in San Francisco, but we have a Pacifica. Yeah, Pacifica in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Right, right. That's wonderful. Um, I also wanted to say that the restaurant has a lot of events, right? You yeah. have events, and I know that um, uh, my friends were here for a Ukrainian chef and fundraising, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, she actually gave me as a book, a book oh, right. for the Ukrainian yeah. cuisine for my birthday, and it's an incredible book. So on your website, you will have a schedule of events, right? So that yeah. people yeah. could uh, we'll have um, mm -hmm. drag me go is every third Thursday, mm -hmm. and borscht and beef, where we have uh -huh. chef borscht uh -huh. and a DJ uh -huh. every fourth Friday. Okay. Third Thursday, fourth Friday. Awesome. awesome. And then many other things beyond yeah. that. But those yeah. Are really good. yeah, definitely welcoming back for those special nights as well. Well, thank you so much to all of you. I definitely wish you success. And I highly recommend that you check this restaurant out when you are in San Francisco next time. Thank, thank you. you very much for coming and supporting us. It's yes, very, very you. important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Okay.